The moors are also a northern stronghold for the Adder, but seeing them requires stealth. So I've come out early with Janet Canning from Natural England, who's got a few tricks to help me see these secretive creatures. So whereabouts should we be looking on this path? Just as we walk down the middle of the path, we may notice them at the sides. They'll come out from the undergrowth and just be curled up in a ring. The more gently that we walk and the quieter we walk, the better chance we have of seeing them. Just, just be quiet and just be looking for them. You do have to tread carefully. Not only are they poisonous, adders are sensitive to the vibrations of your footsteps. You'll find them on south-facing paths being warmed by the sun. And once their bodies have reached working temperature, they'll be off. So you haven't got much time to work out if it's a boy or a girl. The males are smaller than the females, but the males tend to be more highly coloured. They'll be um, a grey, bluey brown with a darker uh, diamond on its, on its back. Whereas the females, although they're bigger, it's more of a brown zigzag on its back and they tend to be more straw yellow coloured so as that they do blend in with the, the dead bracken on the ground and the dead grass more. Surveys show that there are several hundred adders on the moors, making this place a bit of an adder hotspot. On some days I've seen up to 12 adders just on a very short stretch of wall, just at the side, uh, not too near my feet but just, just ready so as they can scuttle into the undergrowth and that's a really nice sight. <laughs> 